During my speech, we'll discuss why it's so important for men to attend the doctor and why it's important for family members to encourage men to go to the doctor. One out of three men could actually admit that in the course of five years, they only attended the doctor only one time. Attending the doctor prevents sickness and any type of sickness on to death. So, why is it important for men to attend the doctor? The first reason is why is because when we go to the doctor, the doctor does an examination of heart disease. Uh, 400,000 men and women, according to the Cancer Sightman Center, was actually killed from a heart disease. Secondly, cancer is the actual leading cause of death as well, which doctors also examine men for any type of cancer traits. After that, they also examine for any type of diabetes, any type of blood pressure, and any type of anything that can actually affect our body or our health as a whole. So, what determines and stops men from actually going to the actual doctor? Well, according to the Huffington Post, these are some of the numbers that I gathered. 22% um, of men just say that they're too busy. They can't take the time out of their day or out of their work schedule uh, to attend the doctor. 21% of men say they fear of might finding out uh, bad news. 18% feel that they're uncomfortable with any type of body exams that's actually done or administered by the doctor. 8% say that they're afraid of any personal questions that a doctor might ask that digs deeper into their actual medical history. 7% say that they're actually afraid of knowing what they actually weigh. Another 7% say that they're, they, they're uncomfortable with actually being naked under a gown. 4% says that the exam room is just too cold. And then 9% say that they have fear of something else that might be going on personally with their bodies. Well, another reason as to why um, men don't, don't, should, should actually go to the doctor is because of their family. Um, thinking of your family, you should be sure that you always have your family's best interests. My grandfather was a Vietnam vet whom we found out died from colon cancer. After digging into some of his actual medical records, we found that he had colon cancer for at least for a span of about eight, eight years or so. If we would have only known, if, if, we, if the cancer would have only been detected even earlier, the doctor said that they possibly could have saved his life. But he didn't attend the doctor for a span of about nine years. It's very important that we attend the doctor. And it's very important that you encourage your men in your family to attend the doctor. Hopefully in doing this and encouraging men to attend the doctor, we can get past the fear of attending the doctor we can start to realize why it's important to attend the doctor, and we can start to put our family first with them in mind to attend the doctor. So, some of the important action steps that you can actually take to start this new life or this new journey to attend the doctor, men. The first step is, ask yourself when is the last time you've actually been to the doctor. Dig into your doctor history records. Look up some of the tests that you um, should actually um, adhere to depending on how, depending on your age group. Also, you should take the step to just call the doctor and schedule an actual appointment. So, if you're a woman and you have a, a male that's in your family, or if you're a child of a father, or if you have a great uncle that you really care about, and you find that they're apprehensive about going to the doctor, I would recommend from some personal testimonies that I've heard that maybe you schedule a dinner date or a lunch date or maybe even a breakfast outing or some sort of family outing that you take that particular person out just to ease their mind into going to the doctor. Or maybe you present some important facts to the doctor, to them to go to the doctor. Schedule your appointment. Your life depends on it. And remember, going to the doctor is very, very important. Take heed to the information that you receive today. Your life depends on it.